Good afternoon. This is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates. I'm uh, just going to do a quick look at our week ahead because we've got a got a scorcher coming, the hottest of the season by far. So uh, let's take a quick look at this. Uh, we're looking at the uh, water vapor loop, and you can see the large circulation coming over the top of this high pressure dome that's built up in the center of the country. Uh, you can see the Hurricane Hillary uh, out here off of the getting ready to move into Southern California. That helped pump up the heights on this, which uh, as I mentioned earlier, or a few days ago when a lot of the model data was beginning to back off and try to keep us in the 80s this week, I thought this hurricane was going to help pump these heights up and that is what's happened. And so um, we're seeing this high pressure dome build in today. We're going to be in the upper 80s to around 90 as the very outskirts of this high pressure begins to move in. This will build in stronger and we should be in the 90s the entire work week. Um, here's a look at the European uh, forecast. So this is uh, for Wednesday. That's when the heat is going to be at its peak. It's going to be Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, it may linger into Friday some, but I think Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday are going to be the peak of the heat. So we should be into the well into the mid 90s by Wednesday. And then uh, as we get into Thursday, um, again, this the Euro is kind of keeping mid-90s to upper 90s around. It's got Indianapolis at 99. It's got 100 degrees reaching into southwestern Madison or southwestern Indiana. I would not be surprised for some locations in central Indiana, maybe in, even into Madison County, to reach 100 degrees on Thursday. Uh, we'll see how the only thing that might stop that is that the dew points will be so high. We'll have uh, dew point temperatures in the low to mid 70s. That means high humidity and a lot of times that helps keep the actual air temperature down but it makes it feel a lot worse. And then by Friday we can see we're still kind of hanging in the low to mid 90s, but you can see the beginnings of a backdoor front. We've been having that a lot this year where the fronts are actually backing in from the northeast instead of coming in from the northwest. So the cooler air will begin to back in from eastern Canada and back into here from the northwest or from the northeast. I'm sorry. Another issue this week is going to be the very high pollen counts. Uh, you can see the pollen counts every day this week are going to be uh, above 10 which is the high category. This is from pollen.com. So on top of the respiratory issues that can be caused by the high humidity, we're going to have allergies in place. Uh, if you got high allergies, we're going to have high pollen in place. That's going to cause an issue as well. So please prepare ahead that you know, if you or someone you love has issues with uh, respiratory problems, uh, know this is going to be a difficult week. And then uh, on a more regional view, then by uh, next Monday, we're looking at the National Weather Service blend of models. And you can see Indiana is going to be largely in the mid-70s by next Sunday and Monday uh, as we get into early next week. Uh, again, I anticipated this and I've talked to you about it for a long time. The models want to bring some warmth back right at, right behind it, but I think they're going to find that uh, that cooler air is going to linger a little bit longer. So here's a quick look at the upcoming seven day forecast. Um, again, you can see it's just going to, it's going to be wall to wall 90s Monday through Friday. And then that front backs in late Friday. We could see some thunderstorms, maybe some strong storms if the front gets here quick enough uh, Friday evening. Showers should. Uh, this will all be pretty isolated. There's not going to be a lot of moisture available to it, but where moisture is, uh, it could be strong. Uh, that that threat should get out of the way by Saturday morning, and then Saturday will be around 80 degrees. We should drop to around 50, maybe the upper 40s Saturday night, and then Sunday and next Monday will be in the mid 70s with lows in the mid to upper 40s. So there will be a huge change between what's this week and what happens next week. So uh, with all that said, I'll wrap this video up. I have the fire background, you know, because it's going to be a hot one this week. Um, as always, check the pinned post on Facebook and Twitter for ways that you can financially support this page. But then also, I, I will ask for some uh, prayers from y'all. I'm going to have a biopsy on my prostate tomorrow. My dad had prostate cancer. I've got some early warning signs, so we're going to get checked out. So just uh, pray that all that turns out to be benign and it's not a big deal. 
And so with all that said, this is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates. Have a great and safe week.